Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we're going to be making a safari themed card using this gorgeous kit from Pollyanna Pickering called World Wildlife. So we're starting out here with a craft card base sized 8 inches by 8 inches which is the same size as that pad there. So I took one sheet of the pattern paper and just plonked it straight on the top as a complete sheet to cover the whole of the front and I th the animal that we're going to be doing is lions in this case so that colourway is going to work really well I think. Then I've taken a another sheet and I'm going to be popping that on the inside on the back there just to cover that up and just to create a bit of interest on the inside. Okay so that's the first two pieces done. So now onto the image itself and in the collection there's this pad that has lots of images in. It's A6 in size and you can use it as a decoupage as individual images to use as is and in this case what I'm doing is I'm taking the lion image and I'm matting and layering it onto this black cardstock. I felt that it just would enhance the images and actually all the layering that I'm going to be doing just to have that thin line of black around it because otherwise they're quite strong and colours and definite patterning on these papers etc and so that just adds that definition between the different pieces. So what we're doing now is I'm just gradually going to be putting together my different layers um, that I then will be putting together so it might not make much sense to start with but um, I will give you some sizes etc as we go along and then you'll see what each piece was for. So this first one is using that same lovely sort of what I think is sort of lion fur pat uh, pattern paper and that was size three and three quarter inches by seven inches for the pattern paper and then just an eighth of an inch bigger for the black cardstock although as you can see it's the same width now I'm creating a square piece and this is what I call my orange peacock feather paper which is kind of really not the right animals but anyway and that is literally seven inches by seven inches for the pattern paper and seven and one eighth for the black cardstock mat that we're going to add around this one and on this instance because I think it's sometimes easier I'm actually sticking it down into the corner which I know I can get roughly right and then I'm just cutting the other two sides sometimes when you've got something that's such a thin mat you know you're really creating only, well an eighth of an inch on sort of across two sides so it's like a sixteenth of an inch on each side so it's quite hard sometimes to get that absolutely in the center so it's often easier to actually stick it down as, and then just cut as few of sides as possible. So now I'm creating another a panel in this lovely sort of dotty paper and that is eight inches wide um, by four inches for the dotty paper and exactly the same width of eight inches but by four and one eighth for the black card and again on this one you can see I haven't worried too much about the length being accurate I've lined it up on the end and then I'm just chopping that piece off at the edge there now for this next layer I'm using this lovely soft orange pattern paper here but I wanted it to specifically relate to the image so I'm actually cutting the black card first so that I can get the actual sizing correct and it actually ends up being a six and a half inch square piece for the pattern paper uh, sorry for the black cardstock and six and three eighths square for the pattern paper and for all these papers I'm just sticking these down with my tape pen because they're quite light and so that tape pen will hold that just fine so here's all my elements all matted and layered and cut so now we need to start to put the card together and hopefully all these elements will start to make sense so the first piece I've got is my dotty card piece pattern paper piece which I am popping across my card like so and we're basically just building up just 
just a different layering just to get little bits of the cardstock showing through now because this piece is a bit heavier I probably should have done it with the previous one as well because we're using sticking down the card and the paper I'm actually using my double sided tape to stick this down just gives a little bit of added strength and make sure it stays where you push it and you can see here how the black cardstock is beginning to really come into its own now I did tell you that this piece was seven inches wide at that point I hadn't actually determined that so this is when I'm just going by eye it works out approximately seven inches across but you can see I'm just going by what looks correct and then just marking that up and chopping the piece off that I don't need but um, as I say that was approximately seven inches but you can obviously adjust it accordingly now with this particular piece I want to wrap some ribbon around it and I've got this lovely brown and orange grow grain ribbon and so I'm just cutting a piece to length using my tape pen to add some adhesive on the back turning it over and then folding the ends around and allowing the adhesive just to grab hold of those ends and hold it tight it doesn't need to be sort of like a permanent fix because you're going to be sticking it down anyway and once you stick it down that will hold it in place so it doesn't need to be particularly strong I decided I preferred it with the stronger color at the bottom because that kind of complemented the previous uh, piece of that line fur as I call it on the very base of the card so I just flip that over and again using my double sided sticky tape to stick that down so the next thing that I wanted to do was create like a decoupage element to my little lion so using my cuttle bug I took some Sue Wilson double pierced oval um, dies I've got the A set and the B set or I think it's just the normal set and the A B set and these give a quarter inch difference in the dies rather than a half inch so you get a much closer and better matte and layer in my opinion so I took the same image that I used for my main image I put the smaller of those two dies onto my line that I wanted to highlight and I die cut him out I'm using here my cuddle bug and so I've got my base plate my rubber mat my B plate and obviously my paper and my die and then my B plate and I'm just running that through and one pass with these dies is more than ample and then I'm going to repeat the process with the die from the B set which is the slightly larger die and I'm using the black card um, to create that matte and layer effect on this element as I have with the other elements and you don't have to do this you could leave this part out if you didn't want to create that um, matte of black you could just decoupage your line straight onto your image but I really wanted to highlight him on the image and I think that the because I'd done the same on a lot of the card with all my elements having that I think that it worked really well and just emphasized the fact that it was a decoupage piece rather than perhaps losing him in the background there they are very strong colors and I just think that it worked really well but if you were for example unlike me using 3d foam here I use just flat tape again um, you may find that that still gives that more subtle but still enough emphasis to show that difference so then on the back of that uh, image piece I've just put some 3d foam and then on the back of my square I'm going to put down some of my double-sided tape and then sticking down the square that's that lovely soft sort of orange pattern and I think that just lifts the whole thing because before then it was just a little dark and I think having that slightly brighter albeit still quite highly patterned paper just added a little lift to that and then I've taken the backing off my 3d foam and as I often do I'm then just adding some of my cosmic shimmer glue to the back of it 3d foam can after time just sort of release itself a little um, in central heating etc so I always tend to prefer to put a bit of adhesive on the foam as well just to ensure that my elements don't come off in my recipient's house 
so that is all those layers and image done so now for a sentiment and I just took one of the sentiments from some of the die cut sheets that came as part of the collection just popped that out matted and layered it as before I then decided that the front was so much on it that the inside still needed more so I added a bit more uh, pattern paper to the top I then decided to add some more some not more some images to the inside as well so I popped that out I had a small one of those pads but in a small version and so that um, image was from there I then had a scrap of my peacock orange paper and I matted and layered that again onto the black paper and just popped that at the bottom added a sentiment and then another little image as well and I think that that then married up quite well to the front of the card and then as a final touch on the front I just added some enamel accents in black and that is the card all done and I think that turned out really well I really like how although they're strong colors and and patterns it just seems to work all together really well so I hope you've enjoyed making this card with me thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye for now bye I bleed my heart out to You'll hear